Thanks for tuning in, this is Taleka Miner, and in this video I'm going over the hash rates power draw and overclocks mining bean coin on the GTX 1660 Super. So let's check this out. Okay, so I do own the GTX 1660 Super from Gigabyte, and I'm going to share my results mining bean coin, and also compare these results with other graphics cards as well. Now this is my test bench with the GTX 1660 Super and it idles around 42 watts. Now the miner program I'm going to use is called G-Miner version 1.75 and the overclock program I'm going to use is MSI Afterburner. Now while making this video, a new version of G-Miner was released but it shouldn't affect the performance due to the notes that was released as well. So running G-Miner on stock settings, I was averaging around 25.9 souls. Now my whole test bench was pulling around 164 watts, so the GPU itself was only pulling around 122 watts. So the average hash per watt is about 0.21 souls per watt. Okay, so now overclocking this graphics card the max I could without crashing it and keeping it stable, I put the core at 140, memory at 950, and the power limit at 100. So now I was averaging around 27.3 souls, and the GPU itself was pulling around 122 watts. So the average hash per watt is now about 0.22 souls per watt. Now let's go ahead and drop the power limit. So I kept the core at 140, memory at 950, and dropped the power limit to 80. Now I was averaging around 25.3 souls, and the GPU itself was pulling around 95 watts. So the average hash per watt is now about 0.26 souls per watt. Let's now drop the power limit even further. So I put the core at 140, memory at 950, and put the power limit to 70. I was now averaging around 23.6 souls and the GPU itself was now pulling around 82 watts. So the average hash per watt is now about 0.29 souls per watt. Let's now finally drop the power limit all the way down to 60, keeping the core at 140 and the memory at 950. Now I was averaging around 21.3 souls and the GPU itself was now pulling around 70 watts. So the average hash per watt did increase to now about 0.30 souls per watt. Okay, so now let's go ahead and compare the stock settings versus the overclock settings mining beam coin. So from the stock settings to the overclock settings, putting the core at 140, memory at 950, and keeping the power limit at 100, my hash rate did increase from 25.9 souls to 27.3 souls, so I gained about 1.4 souls. My souls per watt did increase by about 0.01, so now the souls per watt is about 0.22. Now keeping the core at 140, memory at 950, but dropping the power limit to 80, I lost about 2 souls, but also dropped about 27 watts. So now I was averaging around 25.3 souls, but was now pulling around 95 watts. So my souls per watt did increase by about 0.04, so now the souls per watt is about 0.26. Now decreasing the power limit by 10, so the power limit at 70, I lost about 1.7 souls, but also decreased my power by about 13 watts. So now I was averaging around 23.6 souls, pulling around 82 watts. So my souls per watt did increase by 0.03, so the souls per watt is now about 0.29. And finally dropping the power limit to 60, core at 140, and the memory at 950, I dropped another 2.3 souls, but also dropped my power by another 12 watts. So now I was averaging around 21.3 souls, but was now pulling around 70 watts. So my souls per watt did increase by about 0.01, so the souls per watt is now about 0.30. Now depending on your situation and your power cost, it's best to calculate how you want to set up your overclocks and power limits. So since I do pay a pretty high electricity rate, I want to reduce my power as much as possible without affecting my hash rates too much. But if I had free or really cheap electricity, I may not reduce the power as much so I can gain more hash rates. Okay, so now let's go ahead and compare the GTX 1660 Super with other graphics cards mining Bean Coin. Now, I did grab all these figures from what to mine, so they may not be exactly correct. Now I also shared the overclock settings used with the other graphics cards, and this was also pulled from what to mine, but depending on your overclocks, your results will vary. So to sum it up, the GTX 1660 Super averages around 25.3 souls, pulling around 95 watts. So I was averaging around 0.26 souls per watt. Now for the Nvidia cards, the GTX 1060 6GB averages around 20.5 souls, pulling around 90 watts. So it averages around 0.26 souls per watt. The GTX 1070 averages around 37 souls, pulling around 130 watts. 
so it averages around 0.28 souls per watt. Now the original GTX 1660 averages around 25.5 souls, pulling around 90 watts, so it averages around 0.28 souls per watt. Now the GTX 1660 Ti averages around 25.5 souls, pulling around 90 watts, so it averages around 0.28 souls per watt. And then the RTX 2060 averages around 37 souls, pulling around 130 watts, so it averages around 0.28 souls per watt. Now checking out the AMD cards, the RX 580 averages around 14.5 souls, pulling around 120 watts, so it averages around 0.12 souls per watt. The Vega 64 averages around 17.5 souls, pulling around 180 watts, so it averages around 0.10 souls per watt. And finally, the Radeon 7 averages around 29.5 souls, pulling around 190 watts, so it averages around 0.16 souls per watt. Okay, so in conclusion, the GTX 1660 Super is one of the best budget graphics cards if you're planning on buying new, but overall, when it comes to mining Beam coin, basically all the Nvidia cards will be more superior compared to the AMD cards as of right now. Okay, so now let's check out the profits and how much Beam coin I can mine on the GTX 1660 Super. And today is November 24th of 2019, and the price of Beam coin is about 47 cents. So now pulling up this calculator on what to mine. I put 25.3 as the hash rate, 95 as the power, and my electricity cost is about 10 cents per kilowatt hours, which is pretty much average in this area. So according to this calculator, I should be mining about 0.52 beam coin a day, or about 15.52 beam coin a month on the GTX 1660 Super. Now for the profits, before electricity, I'll be making around 24 cents a day, and then after electricity, I'll be only making about 1 cents a day. So in a month, I'll be making around $7.18 before electricity and only about $0.34 cents after electricity. Now just be aware that the profits and how much beam coin I can mine does change daily depending on the price and the mining difficulty of the coin. And because beam coin is not profitable, the difficulty has been dropping daily, so every day I'm earning a little bit more beam coin mining on the GTX 1660 Super. Alright, so thanks for checking out my mining results mining beam coin on the GTX 1660 Super. And definitely check out my channel to see other mining results on other algorithms as well. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it, sub if you decided to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.